In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best plays in Madden 21 for beating the man-to-man -man coverage defense, really beating any defense, and it comes to you from the gun tray open offset in the Arizona Cardinals offense playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my channel focuses here on uh, just Madden 21 tips and tricks. We try to do four videos every single day that are designed to help you get better at this game. And one of the formations that I've been really liking a lot lately is the gun tray offset out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now, uh, real quick before we jump to that next thing, if you're interested in getting better at Madden 21, I would highly encourage you to subscribe, but I would also highly encourage you to join our text message membership. It's 100% free of charge, but every single week what we do is we release a um, full scheme or some type of advanced pro tip or tactic that's typically between 30 minutes and an hour long. Um, in the last couple videos, we've released a run defense that shows how to stop the run out of every formation in Madden 21. We've given you uh, a whole gun cluster mini scheme uh, that was about 45 minutes long. We've also done a Minnesota Vikings uh, free, basically free e-guide uh, for you. So if you're interested in receiving those free tips, just shoot me a text. My number is 812 216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and it's also in the description. All right, let's jump into the gun tray offset. Now, in, in my opinion, this formation has been uh, one of the best formations in Madden for years. It's kind of, it's it's not this specific formation, but it's very, very similar in the way that it's going to be ran to the trips tight end formation. Now, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the trips tight end has, but it does have several things that we can key on, and one of the things that it, you I would have recommend that you have if you're gonna run this type of offense is to have a tight end apprentice now you can get that on the Chiefs you can also get that on the Bucks because obviously Tom Brady has hot route master um, and there's some other regs teams that you can use it on now uh, it's not 100% viable to do this I use the Green Bay Packers and regs and so uh, I'm able to run this offense and some some concepts from it uh, without having the hot route map or without having the tight end apprentice but having a tight end apprentice is basically going to take this offense to the next level because uh, it's gonna allow you to run crossing routes on both sides of the field now we're gonna jump in here to the gun tray offset and the play that we're going to be covering first is levels switch sale now this is a very very simple play the only thing that I like to do with this is I like to basically take um, take Tyreek Hill and put him on a hitch route I like to take Sammy Watkins and put him on a curl route and then I'm gonna take McCole Hartman and put him on a fade and I'm gonna motion him to the right side of the screen and what you're gonna see is this is gonna serve as a really nice little base play for me out of this formation the running back route is going to be man to man as you can see right there that little table route this is one of the best routes every single year in Madden because of how effectively it beats the hard or different flat zones and different uh, different types of uh, zones that your defense is going to play now the next route on the on the field is the tight end corner route now you can leave this route and it's going to be fine for you if you have a hot route um, or a tight end apprentice it might be smart to go ahead and just throw a corner route on that tight end it is going to be a little bit more effective in my opinion at least for beating man to man and what you're going to see here is when he cuts he is going to get open against the man to man now just for those of you that maybe not have a, a, a tight end apprentice and still want to leverage this play let me show you this and how it works if he does not um, if he does not have the tight end apprentice ability so Travis Kelsey is just going to go on that standard corner route now and all we're going to do is just low ball pass lead it um, to the outside and you're going to see that sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't to be quite honest with you it's not 100% consistent in my opinion um, it will work probably about 80% of the time uh, with the Patriots they have a little bit better man-to-man -man coverage uh, and so that can be some of the issue there but you see there I mean he he generally will beat man-to-man -man, but where that route really comes in handy is when defenses start running uh, a heavy amount of zone coverage on you so we'll show you this backside here um, both routes will be man-to-man. -man. Since Tyreek Hill is on the line of scrimmage, all you got to do is low ball and pass lead inside on that hitch route, and that's going to make that very, very effective for you. And then the, the next route, Sammy Watkins. Uh, I would say this route gets open probably 90% of the time. Basically what he's going to do is he's going to cut up field, and then he's going to hook back, and you see that right there. Now what I would encourage you to do is to low ball that. One thing you can do if you're in first down and 10 and this is what I would recommend if you're in first down and 10 or you're in um, the ability where you could smart route that hitch and it's still going to go about 10 to 15 yards down the field. 
um, you can do that because against press man you see that he's going to basically settle up and noose just like that right there allowing a nice little pass lead to the inside but let me show you that hook route one more time and then we'll jump into uh, zone coverage and just show you this against really the cover three which is the primary defense that I want to run this specific play against but you see there low ball pass lead inside for Sammy Watkins and that is very very effective now if you have not already joined my community discord you can do that in the link in the description that's a great place to be able to connect with other Madden players and basically bounce ideas off of them and get lab partners that way um, let me show you this route to Travis Kelsey one more time so if we let him cut outside just a little bit you see that um, the Patriots man-to-man -man coverage is a significantly better than other man-to-man -man coverages that you're gonna face and that's why I suggest if you're if you if you know they're gonna run man-to-man -to, -man, to go ahead and put him on a hot route at corner route as opposed to a um, as opposed to the standard one however whenever you start playing like cover two or cover three that route all of a sudden becomes very very handy uh, and we're going to show you this right now so this is a cover three bomb uh, but basically McCole Harmon when you snap the ball right here on that fade route what you're going to see is when he gets up the seam um, Stephon Gilmore is going to basically forget about him go to the corner route and you're going to see McCole Harmon is going to beat cover three for a one play touchdown over the top of the defense which is great, right? Getting that all that speed um, for a one-play touchdown. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is on the cover three defense, you're still going to be able to work your high-low combination with your running back and your tight end. So if they if they don't uh, take the running back, you're going to see it's an automatic three to four yards. However, if they do take the running back, let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Uh, and this is going to basically force them to do a lot of coverage adjustments on the right side of the field. And ironically, you know, the majority of this play uh, or formation has some strong power uh, to the right side. But you'll see here, uh, this route to Travis Kelsey will typically get open. Uh, I think I forgot. I think that on that one, the running back was open. Let me show you an example where the tight end will be open. So once they start pressing against the running back, so if you look to the running back and you see, you know, oh, no, he's not open, then just look up. You see here, oh, they take him. And, you know, typically you can fit that in behind you. I don't know if I have my zone drops on. That might be what's going on. Uh, but let me check real quick just so I can show you the route combinations. But what you'll see is, let me see if I have these on here. Or set these like someone normally. If you were playing somebody, uh, normally they would have these set something like that. But real quick, I want to show you... <laughs> um, I want to I want to show you and, and obviously you saw the the cover three bomb so if they run cover three we're gonna be just fine but I do want to show you like cover two or something like that what you're gonna see is if they start pressing against the running back route and they start jumping down at it what you're gonna see is this massive massive window to throw that deep corner route to Travis Kelsey as you can see right there now if they were to let's say they run uh, cover four okay cover four would be a, a decent example what you're going to see here is now they're going to be able to protect over the top of Michael Harbin. But what should happen is there should be a void. Um, see see how big that void is to hit that running back. You're going to hit that running back for about 15 or uh, about 15 yards if you hit him early enough. Um, if you don't hit him early enough, then it's going to probably be more around, you know, like 7 to 10 yards. Um, let me show you cover 3 real quick. Um, also, I do want to cover the curls uh, on the backside. This is primarily for... Um, people who leverage hook curls and things like that uh, let me just show you this tight end corner route you see the tight end corner route is going to get bagged but what's going to happen is let's say they again let's say they, they come underneath against your running back if they come underneath against your running back then you're going to be able to hit uh, your tight end in behind it um, as you'll see right here he's going to get out to the sideline and then you can kind of uh, possession catch that on the outside. Again, if you route, if you do hot route him to a corner route, like I said, in my opinion, against zone, it's better to keep him on the stock corner route. And I could be wrong on that, but you can also, if you have that tight end apprentice ability, you could put him on a hot route at corner route. And now what you're going to see is um, he's actually going to get under those purple zones um, if they're shaded at 25 yards. All right, now I wanted to talk about really briefly here, um, what about the backside, right? So you have the nice cover, cover uh, three beater 
uh, on the right, what do you have on the backside? Well, this backside route combination is one of the best route combinations in Madden. Basically, what's going to happen is one of these two hitches are going to be open. It doesn't matter what they do. So um, there's there's multiple things that they could do to try to stop this. But I'm just telling you from personal experience, this route combination um, is one of the hardest route combinations to defend. And it's such a simple little route combination. It's basically, it's literally a hitch. And you see how they just kind of flow together. They, they work very, very well together. And uh, that's what I love about it. Let me show you cover four really quickly. Um, especially when people are doing their zone drops, you'll find that these two little curl routes against zone coverage are going to be one of your biggest assets. You'll see here, the, the, the purple zones, whoops, I'm sorry, I threw it to the wrong uh, player. The, the purple zones don't defend it. What they have to have is they have to have the hooks. The issue is if they have their hooks set at 5, or if they have their hooks set at 10, or if they have their hooks on default, they can't defend both of these hitches uh, with, with hook zones. They're only going to be able to defend one of the hitches with hook zones. The other one's going to get open. As you'll see right here, they take the underneath one, and we're able to hit that um, that one to uh, Sammy Watkins. Now, I want to show you one other thing with this route combination before we jump out of today's video, and we'll have more tips from this coming um, as well, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But I want to show you one other thing with this. So if I go to my coaching adjustments and I put my hook curls at 10 yards, um, what you were seeing was just the default hook curls. But if I put my hook curls at 10 yards, um, and let's just run like cover three, just to make it, make it a little bit easier for us. Um, what you're going to see here is that same concept. Now watch what happens on the hook curls. You'll see something a little bit different than what we just saw. So if I try to throw this route to Sam Watkins, you see it's still open. What they're going to have to do to stop this is they're literally going to have to play two yellow zones on that side of the field. And even that will not stop this route. Uh, and we'll show you why here in just a second. So I'm going to throw two hook zones out there um, on that side of the field. And what you're going to see is they, they jump to the inside hitch. They jump to the inside hitch that's what's huge to me um, now because they have them shaded at 10 yards you can still hit this hitch um, to Tyreek Hill but you're seeing how wide open the curl route is on that side so you see how he kind of sits on it and he can kind of play it he's not gonna play it there but he could kind of play it the best defense um, in my opinion for this would be some type of Tampa 2 but even the Tampa 2 you're gonna see because because look at the automatic movement of the players they're getting out of position, and you're just going to be able to pop that route over and over again. Let me show you really quickly one little adjustment they might make to stop this. I just want to show you how this looks just so that you can understand it and so that you can see it. So if they go to their coaching adjustments, they just put their zone drops at 10 yards, and their hook curls are going to be at 5 yards. Let me just show you what that looks like really quickly. Um, and again, if you haven't joined the text message membership, our tips are super, super in depth and super, super high level. So I'd love to be able to send those to you. Literally, all you have to do is shoot me a text message and let me know you would like to receive them. So now this is Tampa 2. This is 10 yard flats and this is, I think, five yard hook curls. What you're going to see here is you can still put this, you can still get that ball to Sammy Watkins. But to me, that's going to give them that's that's going to give them the most opportunity to be able to stop something like this, because that cloud flat is going to be able to do its job. The issue for the defense, though, is these are at 10 yards, and so now what I can do is I can pop those quick, um, I can pop those quick routes to the back. I can also pop the quick um, the quick route to the um, to the tight end. One other thing, really, really quickly, if I if if I put this guy on a hitch, you'll see here, if you double hitch them, now you're even, you, you have even more options is, is, is what I'm getting at. If you double hitch both your receivers on the left side, maybe you don't put one on a curl, maybe you just leave them on two hitches. What you'll see is if they did something like that configuration, then you're still going to have that underneath inside position to be able to hit Sammy Watkins. One other option that you can do with this is you can curl Tyreek Hill, hitch Sammy Watkins. I don't personally recommend this because I don't think it's as good against man-to-man, -man, but I have seen some people do this. And what you'll see is, again, zone coverage. This is going to torch it because, as you can see, they play up top, 
and you're able to get in behind those. So those are some quick tips um, of ways that you can really manipulate the defense and really put the defense in kind of a bind with a very, very simple route combination of Madden 21. We got a bunch of tips coming for you today because we were not able to uh, get as many videos done yesterday as we'd like. So we're going to do a little bit extra for you today. I got, I've been in the lab a lot yesterday, um, so we'll bring a lot at you today. So hopefully you're excited about that. Be sure to check the channel because we're going to have a lot of videos coming out today for the trips tight end or the tray offset whatever you want to call it this specific one is found in the arizona cardinals offensive playbook in my opinion the best trips tight end is found in the new england patriots uh, offensive playbook so thanks for watching this video i really appreciate it i hope it was helpful to you and if it was be sure to jump in our community discord that link is in the description below and you can get the full arizona cardinals ebook as well in the description world that kind of expands on this formation but also talks about several other formations this is actually one of my um you know backup formations it's not even the main formation that i use uh when running the arizona cardinals ebook so uh, be sure to check that out i appreciate you guys thank you so much for your time and we'll see you guys in a little bit here on youtube just a reminder we will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time